Good evening. Welcome back to Meet the Candidates. Again, I'm your host, Paul Herring, and we have Mrs. Bernadette Jefferson with us. She's running for the county commission seat, right? Yes, I am. And it's the 34th district? No, I'm running for 1st District Genesee County. 1st District Genesee. See, I've been talking to all our people. Yes, yes. yes. Well, listen, I'm sure she's got a lot of information that she's going to give you. So we're going to start right off with, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm Bernadette L. Jefferson. And I am a mother of 10. I've been in this community all my life. I've worked for, uh, for different activist things in the community, fighting for the community. I have have pastored a church in the community. I've worked to help the sick. I've worked to help the homeless. I've worked to help those that were hungry. I remember a few years ago, when the homeless was traveling all around the United States, we fed them. We right. fed them. Feed uh, the poor, the poverty, something. I, yes. I, yeah, I remember. They yes. came to Juneteenth. Yeah. Yes, yes. We fed them and uh, gave them some things to take with them so that they would go on their way uh, to help them. Because many times we know where we are right now, but we don't know where we'll be at tomorrow. Right. And I feel like when people come into our city, it's up to us to welcome them there. Many people ask, why did we do it? Because they were coming to our city. And I wanted to have a good experience in our city when they came. And so we prepared a fine luncheon for them and gave them fruit, vegetables, and snacks to take with them. Why? Why now? Why county commission? Why politics? I've been working in the political scene without a title. Can I say it? Without mm -hmm. a title. Mm -hmm. Why now? I, I believe that this is the season and the hour that not only do I need to be in the background, but I need to be in the forefront at the table so that I can help to make uh, decisions. Uh, I have a group called Caution, Citizens Advocating United Together to Inform and organize for new direction. What do we do? We change policy and procedures. Things that are, are wrong, that bills that have been passed, things that affect the community, affect things that affect you and I, mm -hmm. to make a difference, not just here in Flint, not here in Genesee County, but all over the Michigan. I've even been to Washington, D.C. to help to change policy for uh, affirmative action. I've been there for uh, injustice to the community so it's not just hey something I wanted to do off off the top of my head but it's something that I've been working on for over 20 years in this community making a difference in 2002 in December they closed the senior citizens facilities and um, there were five senior citizen youth facilities when you mess with the seniors and the youth what do you have left we we either on our way from or on our way to, and so we were. I was inter instrumental in preparing a place for the seniors to go, which was the Broom Center, mm -hmm. and then later on we went to Lansing. Myself and Daryl Buchanan went to Lansing to see Le Lieutenant Governor Cherry to get the senior citizens and the youth facility, which included Burston Field House, uh, the facilities on home and the one on Forest Park. Brennan Center. Brennan Center. Yeah. And so we got those back open. And not only did we get them back open, but we got the, the activities that they had because they had their health, uh, the, the nurse coming in. Mm -hmm. They had their lunches. They had where they came in and they did their social. And when you take away a person's social mm -hmm. circle, you take away their livelihood. Mm -hmm. What do they have to live for? And so we returned that back to them. Uh, the youth facility at Burston, they were able to have the activities that they had at Burston once born again. Many people have tried to take the credit for it, but we did it. We did it. Caution did it. Working together. And that's what this community needs. People working together. Not who's going to get the credit, but who can get the job done. That And it involves not just the city, not just the county, but it involves the city, the county, and the state working together hand-in-hand hand, to make a difference. 
why not city council? Why not start at city council and then move over to the county and then over to the to Lansing and then to Washington? I mean, isn't there like a a procedure for this? Aren't you like city skipping council, a step? I'm not. I, I'm not a resident huh. of Flint. Okay. So there, it was impossible for me to be on the city council or the mayor. Uh -huh. I, but I am a, a resident of Genesee County, okay. and so I'm running for county commission because. That is the area where I am able to step in. It's not because it's, it's, it's foreign to me, mm -hmm. because I've been at the county commissioner meetings. Many people think I live in the city because I've worked so hard for the city. I've been at the city council meeting. I've stood up and fought. I've stood up and spoke out at the city council meeting. I've been to Lansing on behalf of the city of Flint. Mm -hmm. I've been to uh, Washington, D.C., on behalf of the city of Flint. So many people think that I am a resident of the city of Flint. I only have a church in the city of Flint. I was born in the city of Flint. So the city of Flint is a part of me and it makes me a part of them. Okay. Well, how about local government where you do live then? I mean, if it's in the township or in the Flushing or the Swartz Creek or the Davison, had you considered starting there? It's in Mount Morris and I've in Mount Morris and like I said I, I've worked in all the areas but this this seat became open and available and I feel like that where you can do you you need to fit in where you can do the most good now where you can go in and say okay I'm just gonna do that because I work in the city of Flint to make a difference because I work in the county so therefore why not work get a seat where you can do the most good and I felt like I could do the most good at the county instead of doing it in the local at the Mount Morris and Mount Morris Township where it would make a difference. Now this is, is this a, a four-year appointment or a two-year seat? Uh, two year. It's two years. Yeah. So I'm not going to say on day one. What I'm going to say is on day 366. Okay. What are you going to be doing? On day 366, um... There are issues that are pending right now because what do the county commission does? It do deals with the finance. Mm -hmm. It deals with education. It deals with the senior millage. There are different things that it deals with mm -hmm. that are ongoing. Uh, right now, they're, they're closing senior citizen facilities because they say it's not enough financing. Okay, then it's up to us to see is there another way where we can cut spending is there another way that we can take it and utilize it that it will be more to utilize it for it to be better and so what will i do i will go in there and read study what's going on and see what's needed many times we can sit on the outside and assume mm -hmm. this is what's needed or assume that uh, I can go in and change everything well what is your place what is your position and what is your job each and every person need to know their job description, their job title, and what is expected of them. And so if I'm working with the finances, uh, right now, uh, just in December of last year, I was at the county commissioner meeting because of the rates of um, your birth certificate and death certificate. Sure. It's up to $25 per, per copy. For a person that's struggling, for a family that has three children, that at the beginning of school they have to get their children's birth certificate in order to get their shots, that's a burden. That's a burden. Another thing that's affecting Flint and Genesee County is transportation. Transportation is a very big problem right now. They're talking about cutting the, de the, the bus system to 6 o'clock. What's that? Didn't we just pass a millage for that? Didn't we just pass a millage for that? A millage. And so if they cut it to 6 o'clock and you're trying to build a city, if I'm looking for a place to live and I don't have the necessities, if I don't have transportation to get from school to home, there are students that are still at school at 6 o'clock if they stay there for after school activities. Huh. And there's not very many students at the school system that are not bused to school. So what do you do? 
What do you do? What do you do about a doctor's appointment? What do you do about your job? You work at McDonald's, you work at Burger King, you work at the hospital, you work at Genesee Valley, wherever you work at, and you need transportation to get there. I have a member at my church right now, was a good member, dedicated, responsible, accountable to her job. She worked at the pickle factory. Last year, they had transportation that took everybody to the pickle factory and brought them back home so they could work first shift or second shift. Some of them had to wait a couple hours to get home, but it was worth the wait to make sure that they had a job Mm -hmm. that would help subsidize their living. She couldn't be rehired, not because she was not a good employee, but she because she did not have transportation. She does not drive. So therefore, what is her dependable? Mass transportation. Wow. Listen, I'm going to give you the last couple of minutes. I want you to look directly at the camera and talk to the people at home and convince them to vote for you. What I will ask you to do and what they say about our people and we don't show up at the primaries. We do not show up at the local elections. The city council, the county commissioner, the state representatives are the most important elections that will affect each one of you. And I encourage you that on August the 5th to get out and vote. I want you to vote for me. I want you to vote for me to continue to give me a voice at the table to speak out for you to make a difference, to make change in our community, to make change in the city. My record speaks for itself. I've been changing situations, circumstances, policy and procedures for over 20 years. I want to continue to do that, but I just want to have a stronger arm. I want to be able to be able to stand there, stand up for you, stand in a place of accountability, of responsibility. So I ask that you vote for me August the 5th. Ask that if you can't get out and vote, vote absentee. But at all costs, we need you to vote. This year is so critical. It's so important. We are voting for a governor this year. It is so important that you get out of your house, get out of your bed, get out of your comfort zone. You, Your vote is important. It does count. It does count. I know because we have emergency manager in Flint, you say, what's the use? There, you are still important. Your vote still makes a difference. Your voice still counts. But if you don't speak out, if you don't speak up, if you don't use it to make a difference, change will never come. So together, we can make change happen. So I ask you, August the 5th, to vote for Bernie Dale Jefferson for Genesee County Commissioner, 1st District. Thank you. Girl, you used all that. (laughs) You've been watching Meet the Candidates. I'm Paul Herring. We'll have more after this.